Hi there, Science of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading today. And this reading is going to be a Celtic cross. So I'm pulling from the Surrealist Tarot. So I hope you're doing really good. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And let's get into your reading for the signs of Scorpio. And Scorpio, I provide a channel here for your spirit team to get messages. It's always for your highest good. All right. Good. One more time, and I'll we'll cut them. <clears throat> Okay, Six of Swords in the reverse. That's nice. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords reverse. Devil Energy. Four of Cups reverse. Hey, Five of Pentacles reverse. And the Six of Cups. And the Three of Wands in the reverse is a really, really good message okay so again there is six six that's a nine in the reverse but again what we have is listening to your intuition when you need to get away from a stormy time or a bad period or something like that um, or a trip a journey something like that The Ace of Pentacles is your issue, which is great right here. The Ace of Pentacles has to do with an opportunity. And, and it's still your baby here. It's still what you can create. Um, but it's the reason it's in an egg is because it's a surprise. It could be whatever it is that you focus on. And you also have the surprise type card there. <clears throat> So the Queen of Swords energy in the reverse as the challenge has to do with trying to find your own truth and live in it and how that's a constant thing. Like the scales are always shifting um, in life. You just, you do learn constantly all the time. So you also learn about what opportunities are going to be present. With the Nine of Cups in the reverse, it's almost like... Um, Careful what you wish for. That's at the heart of the matter. Careful what you wish for. Because some choices can be not so great for ourselves, but ultimately we have choice. All right? So, Eight of Swords energy passed is the Five of Swords, has the Five of Swords energy in the reverse to clarify it, which is going to say to me that you freed your mind from some kind of conflict or struggle, um, maybe involving more than three people or three groups. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that, but it could be. And careful what you wish for because of not wanting to have fight or confront, confront, sorry, confrontation. Tell me about the Four of Cups in the reverse. Four of Cups in the reverse. The star in reverse. So a need for a fresh start after some disappointment. A need for a fresh start after some disappointment. But here is the Queen of Pentacles. This is the energy of being able to handle it all like on your own, right? What is the devil energy? This is you, your energy. With the eight of pentacles. So it says you're working on your craft. You're working, um, planning and strate strategy. I'm going to say it's that since it's in the you spot. So there's the Eight of Pentacle energy. is um, It's about getting better at your craft. It's also about putting in the work and effort um, to get to where you can have like some saving and some, um, mm, what's the word I'm trying to say? Becoming master level at whatever skill this is. It, does, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you're doing right now. 
but it can be something like that you're working on is what I would think. Okay, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. With the six in the reverse, now we have six, 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 and then the flipped over nine. So <clears throat> six in reverse, six pentacle in reverse, has to do with trying to balance out the skills. Like I was saying before, making things even. It's a give and a take here. It's a give and a take. So, but what I see here is that something that was not very even is leading you to a point of getting even, let's say, and having your truth, living in your truth. I'm not so sure. I think that's something that you'll probably be working on with it in the reverse. It's needing a victory of some sort. What is the five of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, wow. Okay, so there's your Ace of Swords. So maybe it's a little of this and that when it comes to clarity. Here we go. So clarity. Um, crystal clear vision. <clears throat> the Six of Cups with the Three of Wands in the reverse is a surprising connection, soul connection, or a um, branching to where families are all connected, and so therefore it could be about networking too. And there you are, King of Cups energy is living in that peace, that steady that you can find within yourself regarding emotions, regarding mood. And I think everything's gonna be fine. I mean, Queen of Pentacles energy is here crowning this. So this is a really good reading because these two could work together when we have the Queen of Pentacles focusing on work and focusing on um, what she has to do to get things done. And the King of Cups is letting love guide every single step and not fear. Okay, also, yet again, another message to watch out for what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. So as not to choose things like um, drinking over a good meal or something like that. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how I would see it. It's like if you have a choice, choose something that's going to be good. If you have a choice between a memory and a new pair of pants, then go for making a good vacation memory or something like that. All right. So that's this part. And we're going to pick these up. And draw some oracle cards. Scorpios. shuffle this one more time too. All right. The Shaman's Dream. <clears throat> Poor Scorpio. Poor Scorpios. A tidy house. Um, yeah, because truly when you clean things at home or you, you clean a station off if your workstation or something like that, cleaning allows, um, just like in the mind, cleaning out emotions and feelings, it allows for other things to come in. And we have 19, Falling Angel, Spiritual Narcolepsy. It has to do... With finding your purpose, your rhythm, your rhyme, your reason for being here on earth. 
Um, it usually has to do with something with your higher self. So that's why sometimes you have to come back to that energy. And if an angel's fly, um, flying and falling, then it just needs to spread out its wings. 54 is the crossing, the initiation, the crossing. This is going to maybe even a new portal, a different portal, metaphorically in life, going to something else. And Feast of Plenty, I look at that like it's the Two of um, Swords energy because that Two of Swords coming out of there. So other than the number 20, it's probably meaning about weighing your options. And I have Closing Door, a Completion. Lay of the Land, Ancestral Wisdom. Lay of the Land, Ancestral Wisdom. 50, Spirit of the River, Movement Towards Adventure. <clears throat> and I have 32, Jeweled Web Connectivity. And on the bottom, number 25, The Garden of Venus, Rest and Renewal. Rest and Renewal. Okay, so Scorpio, let's go ahead and get in, in the Shadows Oracle cards for you. Let's close out this reading. Oh, we could probably do some angel answer. Let's do that too. Let's do the angel an answers. Angel answers. I focused on you instead of my pain. Jeweled web connectivity. Angel answer do we have reconsider I have reconsider and um, that might have to do with your rest and renewal if you believe is on the bottom so that is what I have for you guys thanks so much for joining me Scorpio um, and thanks for being patient as your readings eventually come out sending you light and love bye-bye